this is what we can expect our parent to experience based on our setup. The parent will sign in, select the school. In this scenario, we'll have one student purchase our city museum field trip for a student right here. I made this one in the past. Don't be confused by this. This is the one we created. Notice that it lets the person know there's a PDF they will be a fillable form they're going to fill out, that there's some extra information that will be asked, and that they'll need to define uh, what kind of t-shirt. It also lets them know the extra information that we defined for the fee. So we'll go ahead and add that to cart. We'll also purchase one for a non-student. The same kind of information is shown. We'll add that to the cart and we'll check out. It's going to notice that one is for a non-student. So we're going to enter the person's name who's going to be getting this. Cousin Jimmy. Jimmy. Okay. Then we'll continue to check out. Now my school fees is going to notice we've got two attributes that we need to define. The first one is for our student. He wants a medium t-shirt. We'll submit it. Great. The next one is for cousin Jimmy. He takes an extra large t-shirt. Great. We'll submit it. That's all the information we need and we'll continue. The parent will be given a summary of what they're purchasing. They'll continue to check out. And at this point, they'll just go ahead and pay their fees. Thanks for watching this short video. Take care.